find x below. Now for us to do this, let's simply make a trace down from this point to the center of the circle. So you agree with me that this line here is radius. This line that is from center to circumference, from center to circumference is also radius. Just like this line from center to circumference is also radius. So now, if you look at this, this is radius, this is also radius. So that means this triangle is an isosceles triangle because these two sides are equal. So it is an isosceles triangle. And the base angle of an isosceles triangle are equal. So if this is 42, this angle is also 42 degrees. Similarly, this is an isosceles triangle because this is arrow and this is also the radius arrow. So this triangle is also an isosceles triangle, this triangle. So that means the base angle will also be equal. So if this is 28, this is also 28. So that means the full angle here will be 42 plus 28. And 42 plus 28 is going to give us 70 degrees. So this total angle here is 70 degrees. Now, don't forget that angle at uh, center, the angle at center is twice that angle at circumference. Because from these two points here, this line goes to the circumference. This line goes to the circumference to make angle 70, which is, which is what we just obtained now. Then from this point to the center, this point 2 to the center, we have angle 4x. So angle at center, which is 4x, is equal to twice angle at circumference, which is 2 multiplied by the angle at circumference is 70, which is what we just obtained now. So 4x is equal to 2 times 70 is 140. So to get the value of x, we divide both sides by 4. So divide this by 4. 4 cancel 4, and we are left with x on this side. And then 140 divided by 4 will simply give us 35. So the value of x is 35. Please subscribe to this channel for more videos like this. Thank you.